hey what's up guys this is Ben and welcome to my channel today we're gonna be ending the Walking Dead season 2 episode 1 I'm playing this on my Android tablet but it is available on iOS as well the intensity has been building up and up and today like they say the shit's gonna hit the fan so thank you guys for all the love and support comments likes everything you guys do really appreciate it and if you guys want to see more let me know by bombing that like button and I'd love to have you guys subscribe as well but for now this is the end of episode one I'm psyched you're psyched let's do this oh shit Jeez, this was a tough one. This guy wouldn't die. Holy shit. What the? How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurker sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. You have nothing to say for yourself? We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. 
Better than losing it. Well, you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. Definitely. Hey, look. Um, I just want to say I'm sorry for... Well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. Whatever. Look, he means well. He just loses it sometimes. I don't like him. He's not a bad guy. Maybe just... just give him another chance. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is... What happened to just about everyone's parents? You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? The same thing that happens to everyone. But he saved me first, lots of times. Well, it sounds like he was a real good guy. Yeah, he was. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch, and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Maybe you fooled everyone else, but not me. Don't talk to me like that. Oh, what? You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a mom. You should watch your ass if you know what's good for you. I just needed some help. Well, you got it. Now go. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? 
You shut your fucking mouth. You should probably think about being nicer to me. That's just my advice. Well said, Clementine. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. Let her eat some of her own stew. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. What's her problem? Yeah, well, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that, I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Oh, that's sad. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And, of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I tried to apologize already. She ain't having it. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line, raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice, Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. What the... What happened here? They don't look like zombies to me. Ah, uh, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Word. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Yeah, who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. Okay, so we need to check these uh, cadavers. And I gotta tell you, there's a storm outside, it's raining. And that and this is giving me the creeps. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. Also, I have a question for you guys, and I'm just wondering... Do you think you would have higher chances of surviving an apocalypse if you were alone, solo, or in a, in a group? Can I help? 
I got it. There will be a voting system by the end of this video, and I'm really looking forward to uh, see what you guys are gonna choose. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissant match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Because they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. Alright, so more cadavers uh, searching. More fun for me. You guys want to join in on this? You're more than welcome. <laughs> what is it? Oh shit, that's our back. That's our back. Oh my god. <coughs> what happened to you? Keep cool. You were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Please. <laughs> really don't want to give the water but I want to find out about Krista but this guy is for sure some sort of jerk <coughs> one of those villains Thank you. all right then speak up ah! Pete I'm fine I'm fine just just lost my footing damn it Oh, God he's bit. Damn it! He's bit. Shit. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo. Come this way. Damn it! We have damn to pick it. a side. No! You. We gotta get out of here. Get over here! God damn it! Can't you listen to me once? Just one time? I've got. I'm going with Pete. Come on! Come on! I just, I kind of panicked. What's next? No! What's next? Damn! What are you gonna do? Someone's outside! 
Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? I can't keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. All right, guys, that is it for episode one. You guys can check on your screen the choices we made compared to the other players that are playing this game and their choices. And uh, we came to the question of this video, so I repeat it again. Do you think you would have a higher chance of surviving a zombie apocalypse on your own or in a group? Pick one and I will announce the results in a week or so. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the first episode. And if you guys want to see episode 2, let me know by leaving a comment or giving a thumbs up to this video or any of the previous parts from this series. Really appreciate your support. Much love to all of you and I'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.